everyone. Welcome to Story of the Brick Studios or J. Brickman Studios. We are um, <clears throat> about to be reviewing one of my custom things, the Red Baron's Fulker DR1 Triplank. Here it is. Just kidding. Here's my Red Baron Fulker DR1 Triplank. Over here we have the um, front of the plane. See this little knob here? It's hooked up with some stuff inside right this compartment right here. Which whenever you spin it makes the actual um, propeller spin. We have the um, two machine guns. German symbols of World War One. This is a World War One plane. The Red Baron was the deadliest plane of World War One. So I thought I'd make him because the Lego are come have a sock with camel that I think I might use to make this a battle scene. And uh, they didn't have a Red Baron, so I thought I'd make one. Inside here is the control panel, a joystick, and your gauges and everything. We have our landing gear down here. Actually, kind of looks like the real landing gear they use, and they have a little stopper that was just put on by me so it would stay up like that. And, um, it was not always three wings. For, for a long time, he had a two-wing fighter. So, all you gotta do is take these wings off like this. And then put this wing back on. And you have a two-wing fighter. Yep, but I like it much more with the uh, Felker DR1 triplane, like with the two wings on. And so, we're going to put those back on here. So, um, it was really cool. I enjoyed making it. It's really fun to play with and just zoom around with. And, um, yeah, because it's really fun to play with this <clears throat> I built. Because you can have it zooming around and everything. And while you spin this and it can be like it's flying, it's like... And, um, the history about this build is that, um, these kind of... These kind of open cockpit planes were used in World War One and a little bit after. Not in World War Two; they evolved since then. But <clears throat> these were some of the first fighter aircrafts because they had just come up with a way to get the uh, machine gun to fire through a rotating propeller. First, they came up with this way to. Um, to just put metal stuff on the on the on the uh, propeller so it would just deflect, but then uh, sometimes it would come back and hit you. So so uh, a Dutch designer came up with a stopping mechanism that made it to where the bullet could only fire when the propeller was not in its way, and that's when they started the warfare up there. Before it had just been used for uh, aerial and stuff, still used for that, but now it was a dangerous place. And um, it's called a Folker DR1 triplane, the kind I made. The Red, it was hand, when he built it, it was delivered personally to the Red Baron from the maker, the person that made it. And um, yeah, it's really cool. And uh, since I'm going to be making a scene with the Sot with Camel with it, I'll probably do a review on the Sot with Camel too. Thank you for watching. Hope you like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!